Hey, this is Mike at OnPoint. We're going to talk about adding tasks to a uh, Spectrum work order in this session. Uh, burn into memory, if you want to add tasks to work orders so that the Service Tech field app, the Spectrum uh, Service Tech field app, <clears throat> presents those tasks to be checked off or, or notes to be made and such, uh, there's three ways to do that. One is just to add tasks to a work order, and that's what we're going to do today. Uh, you can also add tasks to a service contract that becomes the work order. We'll, we'll do that in another video. And also in another video, we'll do uh, creating or, or rather adding a, a fillable PDF form to work orders, uh, all three of those to be completed in the Field Tech app. So let's talk about adding tasks to a work order. Uh, first, the tasks have to, oops, have to exist. And so uh, I will go off to service I'm sorry, I'll go out to work order and to maintenance and then to tasks. <clears throat> and when I hit go, you see I've got a variety of tasks uh, already created to be applied to, to work orders. So I will check out of that. And then let's pop into a, an exist, I'll just do an existing work order. Make good use of everybody's time. So work order 1008. Uh, he's here we go. He's Table Rock Lodge. I'm at Table Rock right now. Um, the ice machine at the marina is not working well, and it's assigned to me with well with today's date. Um, and I'm going to go ahead then and add tasks. And so I go off to the info bar. I hit tasks under activity, and I'm going to pick. I'm just going to pick a, a few tasks here. Maybe we're going to uh, need to get my glasses. Is what I need to do. We want a, a general inspection done. Note that it prompts for equipment, and it can also, uh, you can indicate a price. I'm just going to create a list of tasks right now. Uh, so we're, we're going to do a general inspection. We're going to look at the volt load. And, well, I'll just pick another one that we want to make sure our technician does. Uh, go ahead and do the PM on it while, while he or she is out there. All right, so I have created my three tasks on, on that work order. Now where these come into play then is if I'm the service, if I'm the service technician out in the field, I've got this service tech app through Spectrum. And I've I've got it on my app here, on my app. I've got it on my Mac. I can uh, run this app through the Mac. Pull this down so you can see it. And so these are the work orders that are assigned to me in that app. If just for fun, if I go to the main menu, I can look at open work orders. Other things, I can create a new work order if I have permission, record time. Uh, there's full training on the Service Tech app, but I'm just going to look at my open work orders. And so here's my 1008 Table Rock Lodge Ice Machine. And I'm going to hit this little arrow, and then I'm presented with a variety of things that I can do. I can clock in, I can record my labor materials. But what I'm really interested in right now are my tasks. So I'm going to click on tasks and you can see the three tasks that I created. And then as I finish those, I can just check them off. All right. And that's that. Then when I hit that left arrow and I go back, you can see tasks three of three are done. And so that's the first way to handle tasks on a work order. Uh, again, I'll have a, a couple of other videos, one to handle tasks through service contracts that become work orders, and then another one to handle tasks or, or fillable form, on a fillable form, uh, all, all, all three of these options through the Service Tech app. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.